in this video we are going to learn and talk about the ac drain firstly we will see the short introduction of ac drain then we try to understand the meaning and definitions of ac drain and then we see the causes and effects of ac drain and at last we see the preventions and solutions for the ac drain so these are the topic we will cover in this video so before we start please subscribe to the channel and also if you like the video share it with your friends so now let's begin the video at first let's see the basic introduction of ac drain so if i ask you what is ac drain so you can say that the acid drain is any kind of precipitation that has uh, the acidic nature and the pH value less than 5.6 is defined as acid drain. You can just simply say that the any kind of pre precipitation that has pH value less than the normal water that is 5.6. Remember this 5.6 is the uh, acidity of normal rain water. Clear? So the acidity less than 5.6 is defined as acid rain. Now let's see acid rain is a result of human activities that release sulfur dioxide. Remember the sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide. These two major gases are responsible for the acid rain. So these are released into the atmosphere and react with water and oxygen and other chemicals to form sulfuric acid and nitric acid these two acid that are present in the acid rain and when they fall into the ground uh, it is called as the acid rain clear so the uh, so2 and no2 these are the gases that combine with the ho2 to form the sulfuric acid and the nitric acid that are present in the acid rain now let's talk about the meaning and definitions of acid rain. Here a simple definition of acid rain is uh, acid rain is a type of precipitation that is unnaturally acidic unnaturally acidic causing harm to the environment. And the formation of acid rain is caused by a chemical reaction that begins when compounds like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are released into the air. air. So uh, these two uh, gases are major gases to responsible for the acid rain. Now let's talk about the Robert Smith. So he was the first person to point out the relationship between atmospheric pollution and the acid rain during his investigation of rainwater chemistry near, uh, near industrial cities in England and Scotland. So he uh, was recognized as the father of acid rain by the Royal Society of Chemists. Remember who is the father of acid rain? So the Robert Smith is the father of acid rain. In 1852 he was the first person to use this phrase of acid rain and he was the Scottish chemist. Now here you can see this is Robert Smith and he was the first person to use the term acid rain. So we can call him as a father of acid rain. Now here you can see the nitrogen oxide and the sulfur dioxide that are released into the air and combined with uh, HO2 and uh, other oxygen and other chemicals to form the uh, two major uh, acid that are reason for the acid rain so that affect the uh, fish and that are present in the uh, water and the uh, plants that are present here so it also damaged by the acid rain now the chemicals in acid rain if you talk about the chemicals so uh, first we have sulfuric acid uh, that are uh, present in the polluted air and these chemicals in acid rain are formed when nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide come in contact with what uh, rain water so here you can see the rain water and these two gases that are released into the atmosphere and 
the uh, two acid that are reason for the acid rain you can see here the process of evaporation that leads to uh, this process now here you can see the so2 and no2 these two major gases of acid rain that combines uh, with the o2 and ho2 that is oxygen and uh, oxygen and water so uh, these form the sulfuric acid and uh, nitric acid these two major gases uh, these two major acid right now let's talk about what are what are the causes of acid rain so first we have the fossil fuel combustion burning of coal oil and natural gas in power station and vehicles release pollutants into the atmosphere here you can see the uh, plants that are uh, that are present here is releasing the uh, harmful gases right so this is the cause of acid rain major cause of acid rain now the second one is industrial emissions chemical factories and industries processes emits large amount of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide these two major gases uh, are uh, produced uh, produced by the industries the third cause is natural cause here you can see the volcanic eruption so this is also a cause of acid rain the uh, volcanic eruptions the earthquake natural fires here you can see the natural fires and lightning etc release sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide into the atmosphere so these will, uh, will also be a cause of uh, acid rain clear now let's talk about the motor vehicles motor vehicles such as cars bus bikes produces nitrogen oxides oxides here you can see the bus is producing the uh, gases in which the nitrogen oxides are present and this is the cause of acid rain so if you talked about the cause of acid rain now let's talk about the effects of acid rain on aquatic animals so aquatic animals that lives in in the water are called as aquatic animals fish is a great example of aquatic animals so the first effect on aquatic animals is disrupt disruptions of aquatic ecosystem the acid rain can lower the ph of lakes and rivers posing a risk to a uh, risk to fish and aquatic uh, life so the acid rain can lower the ph of lakes it means the uh, water is normal but the acid rain can uh, increase the acidity of the uh, the water present in the uh, rivers and the lakes so this will harm the uh, life of the fish and also uh, they can uh, the survival of this fish is very difficult in this kind of lakes and rivers now the second one is reduced biodiversity the acid rain can lead to a decline in the po population of sensitive aquatic species affecting the overall biodiversity of ecosystem so some kind of other species that are sensitive in nature uh, that are present in the aquatic life and aquatic ecosystem they cannot survive and uh, this will affect the overall biodiversity of ecosystem now the third point is altered reproduction patterns the acid rain the acid rain that are present can disturb the reproduction and early development of aquatic organisms it means that the reproduction in the aquatic ecosystem can also be disturbed and the early development of uh, these uh, kind of fish and other aquatic animals will be harmed by the effects of acid rain so the other effects on the plant and soils so the acid rain can damage to the vegetation acid rain can damage damage leaves stems and roots uh, root systems of plant affecting their growth and survival so here you can see the plants that are affected by the acid rain so the uh, growth of plants will be harmed and not uh, uh, the plant cannot be grow successfully uh, 
uh, and mature to its optimum level right so the acid rain can destroy the uh, vegetation and the plants that are present on our earth and the uh, other important effects is soil acidification so what is so soil acidification so the, the normal acidity of soil that are uh, beneficials for the uh, plants and uh, the growth of plants will be declined the pH level will be reduced by the acid rain and it will affect the availability of essential nutrients for the plant to uptake uh, it means the uh, soil is is acidic in nature now so they cannot uh, support the plants to grow right now let's talk about the monuments effects of acid rain on monuments here you can see this is our Taj Mahal and this is the Statue of Liberty so here as you can see the uh, shade of this Taj Mahal is whitest but here you can see this is a kind of yellowish shade right and similarly here this is a kind of pink shade and the, uh, here is uh, the sky shade kind of so the Taj Mahal acid rain has led to corrosion of the marble surface causing damage to the intricate carvings it means the marbles that are present in the outer surface of the uh, Taj Mahal that are uh, affected and damaged by the acid rain similarly this uh, happens with the statue of liberty the statue has uh, the statue has suffered erosion of its copper surface due to the exposure of acid rain affecting its iconic appearance here is an another example of acid rain effect the, so you can see the statue has affected by the acid rain now the uh, if we talked about the effects now let's talk about the preventions the preventive measures to reduce the acid rain effects so first we have the reduction of emissions so the major cause of acid rain is emissions that are produced in the industries and the power plants so if we reduced the emissions of these uh, plants so we can control the acid rains effect implementing implementing technologies to reduce the release of sulfur and nitrogen compounds from power plants and vehicles so if you reduce the uh, emissions that are produced by the vehicles and the industries that uh, produces the harmful gases and these are the causes of acid rain so if we uh, reduce the amount of emissions we can also control the uh, effects of acid rain now the second point is use of clean energy resources these are the best example of clean energy resources that are renewable and uh, um, the, these are the helpful uh, methods to control the acid rain so promoting renewable energy sources such as wind solar and hydroelectric power to minimize pollutant emissions you can uh, we can also use these kind of energy sources to minimize the effects the harmful effects on our environment that are damaged the plants that are damaged by the acid rain so here is a option for the clean uh, and uh, clean and healthy environment right now the third is the international cooperations collaborating across nations to enforce regulations and treaties aimed at reducing acid rain pollute, pollution collectively so if the government applies the rules and regulations and some kind of treaties that enforce people and the, you know, the local public that produces the um, the harmful gases that are produced by their cars their bikes and buses and the um, major industries that produces the harmful gases so if the uh, government uh, implements these kind of regulations so we can also control the effects of acid rain so these are the main uh, the main use of the main prevention measure that we can take to control the acid rain effects so these are the these three are the major uh, method right 
so uh, we have talked about the ac drain uh, and if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share it with your friends till then bye bye